Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are going to start our reconnaissance of the moon before we send anybody out there. Um, I think what I want to do is actually put one of these ISA satellites in orbit of the moon. Where is it? I, there it is, ISA sat. Now, this rocket, I think that I have here is probably going to be capable already of doing this trip because it had quite a lot of fuel left when I did when I uh, put the satellite in orbit of Kerbin. Um, I think there's one or two changes that I want to make before we go though. Mainly I want to put some extra sat uh, solar panels on this thing just in case because the trip to the moon is going to take a little bit longer. And I want to make sure that the batteries on this thing don't die. And that that doesn't work like I wanted it to. Um, let's put them like there. That way there's not really a chance of this thing dying in transit. Because that happens when you get on these longer things. I've forgotten many times to do that before. So I want to make sure nothing bad like that happens. Um, what was the other change I wanted to make? Probably put another battery or two on this thing too. Because... Well, no, its orbit's going to be shorter than it is, actually, so it should be fine. So let's go ahead and update the save, and we're ready to launch this bad boy. Now, I think I'm going to pretty much just skip the launch, because there's really no reason to show the same launch again. So I'll, I will just meet you guys up in orbit. Alright, so we have achieved our orbit here of Kerbin. Let's go ahead and get our transfer to the moon planned here. Now, let's see, the, you want to do this so like the, the moon is rising, so I think maybe we want to do it like right around there. I don't, I don't know, is the guess. I haven't been to the moon in like, what has it been, like a year since I recorded a video where I went to the moon, so. All right, that is a collision, isn't it? Let's see if we can get that to have a periapsis. There we go. What we got there. That is too much. We want to be a little bit closer than that. And that is way too little. Again, I went back to like basically the same point. 250,000 will be just fine so we can get this done. Let's have it execute the node. I'm going to have MechJeb do a lot of these executions just because it's more precise than I am and it's, especially with this satellite, fairly important that we get it into a good orbit over the pole, so i to try to get that done correctly here. Also it does the time warping which is a big bonus. The last time I went to the MUN, the mission actually ended in utter failure because I screwed up the time warping and crashed into Kerbin. Um, Back then, time warping didn't really work quite as well in the version of the game. It was like, I don't know, version 15 or something, point fifteen. But still, I like to have the professional handle the time warping. Uh, MechJub does a really good job with that. I use the warp helper all the time in MechJub. I think it's one of the most useful things that it has. Because you can just warp right to the periapsis of your orbit or the apoapsis, whatever you want to do and it will slow things down in such a way that the physics don't get all screwed up and everything which is pretty darn handy we'll be using that in a minute so I can get over to the sphere of influence of the moon actually and plot the next maneuver to circularize the orbit and then we'll go ahead and expand the orbit out and get transitioned over to a polar orbit because this satellite needs to be in roughly as good of a 90 degree polar orbit as I can do to be efficient at scanning. We've got plenty of power still. That's that space junk orbiting, isn't it? I had a lot of fuel uh, left. Well, not a lot. I had enough fuel left that I probably could have uh, gotten this orbit achieved with the main stage of this rocket, but instead I ditched it with fuel left because I didn't want to add to the space junk problem up here. I am probably going to send something to destroy or deorbit that space junk. I could just end the flight, but I don't really like to do that. It feels kind of fake and silly, gamey, I guess you'd say. So I would prefer to not do that. These Nerva engines work good. Heat, hopefully, no, nah, heat's not going to be a problem. We're almost done with this burn. I say the engine was getting pretty toasty, but it's okay. 
So we can't plot our next maneuver yet because we actually need to be over in the sphere of influence, I believe, in order to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've actually achieved here, though. Not perfect, but it'll do. So let's just have it uh, actually abort that because I want to warp with like, say like 60 seconds so I can actually plot things. Why did that affect my periapsis? That I would like to know. All right, slow it down, slow it down. I am going to abort the time warp actually because I don't want things getting crazy. Let's have a moment to actually plot this. So circularize at the periapsis go and execute. So we will have achieved our orbit in a second here. Make sure those solar panels keep facing into the sun. Because if they do not... I think I might have to extend the satellite ones just to be on the safe side. I don't like to do that with breakable stuff, but... It shouldn't matter. At least we got one of those out. Because these can't track the sun. Almost achieved our orbit here. This rocket is pretty capable actually. I bet it could get us to Minmus too. It takes a little more Delta V to get out there, but looking at the fuel that I have left, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We pro this rocket's probably good enough to get a satellite into orbit of anything around Kerbin. Maybe even a little bit beyond. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have to test the limits of what this thing can do. So, we don't really want to change that yet. Um, change inclination. Let's go for our 90 degrees. And when would I want to do that? Let's take a look. It'll kind of be facing Kerbin if I do it at the apoapsis. Uh, at the aquarium, what does that mean? AN? DN? Um see what this actually does. Okay, not that then. Let's try the DN. Yeah. I suppose it'll work. And let's execute that. Take a look at what we got going now. Oh, well, that's a nice screenshot there, isn't it? Like I said, I take millions of screenshots in this game. Things are just kind of pretty. The, the orbital inclination thing, I think, is one of the more useful maneuver planner things that this game has because, or that Mech Jeb has, because I really suck at doing that. And I'm glad that that something can help me do that. It's very hard to get it to be exactly 90 degrees. And then I think we'll change the uh, our orbit out to be about a half a million kilometers. That will probably do pretty well for us. I'm going to take another screenshot there. I mean, it just keeps coming. That was a pretty big burn. So I'm going to pay attention to how much fuel is left in this thing. And if there's enough, we might not even, like I said, we might not even have to modify this to send the ISA satellite out to Minmus. I think it should have plenty of fuel left looking at this. Something crazy just happened there. And complete, well, more or less. It's that last little bit that Mechjeb can do there with that fine feathered 
throttle that I cannot do. All right, so we've got our orbit inclination changed. Um, let's go ahead and man, this has a lot of options available. Let's go ahead and change the apoapsis and the periapsis to each be 500,000. 500,000. Wait, that's kilometers though, so we don't want 500,000 kilometers. That would be ridiculous. We want 5,000 kilometers. Right? Yeah, because we're at like 150 kilometers right now. Yeah, that seems right. Let's see what the. It cannot be. What? Why would that be? Um. remove that node and start again here so let's change the apoapsis first then why is it telling me that it couldn't plan that maneuver I don't get it well what I'm going to end up doing is just let's raise this a little bit myself I guess maybe it's because I don't know I don't know, but let's just get up to the apoapsis ourselves here and try to figure this out. A little bit of warpage. I'm going to plan this maneuver myself right now. Like right. Uh, let's do it a little before that. Let's do it there. And we need a little bit more speed. What is that, guys? 211, 300. Wait, I bet I could use the ascent guidance to do this, couldn't I? So let's do 500 kilometers, and I'm nervous about doing that, though. I am nervous about doing that. All right, that work. That'll work out just fine. It'll roughly get circularized this way. Look how gingerly it's being there. half a million kilometers just seems to be about right for these ISA satellites. I don't know if I can do a half a million kilometers over Minmus, but Minmus is a lot smaller than anything anyway, so it won't really matter as much probably, because I think we'll scan the surface pretty quick. It matters more for those Keythane satellites. I don't know what the optimal altitude for those is, because it scans so slow, man. It's ridiculous. The Kethane, I, I should say Kethane, because it's like methane, I think. Not key thing but that is going to be rough time scanning all these planets for that I don't really know how, how much fuel you get out of a deposit either so that's going to be an interesting learning experience I guess Alrighty, so let's check our handiwork here. Really, MechJeb's handiwork, but I'll take credit. That looks not too bad. That looks like that will do the job just fine. So, we still have tons of fuel left to deorbit this. We don't need MechJeb right now. Let's go ahead and first things first. Try to. Why can I not control this thing? There we go. I can, it's just. 
slow and horrible to control because it doesn't have any RCS and the probe does not really give that much torque. So let's go ahead and lock that off. Everything looks good to go on our satellite here. So let's go ahead and guess we can well bam now is this thing mapping now oh it is look at it go cool beans man cool beans let's close the map out get back over to the actual unit here unit the rocket I should say Oh, I did have a couple solar panels. Well, you can never have too many solar panels. I wanted to make sure there were enough on this thing anyway that we wouldn't have problems. So let's go ahead and swing around. I'm going to crash this into the moon, I think. Well, actually, it might be interesting to crash it into Kerbin if I had the fuel. Maybe I'll check to see if I do. Then I'll end up with more... Sp I have a lot of fuel left. It shouldn't take that much. I ah, will just crash into the moon. It'll be the first thing to crash into the moon in a while. <laughs> nice and easy. This is going to take like practically no fuel to crash this thing into the moon here. Alrighty. Nav ball up. Thrust away. And goodbye, space junk. We don't want you. And there we go. Yep, inside the moon now, so we are good to stop firing. Let's go back to the satellite now. Oh, that's, that's pretty high up, man. Alright, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna probably let time warp for a while, just walk away from the computer and uh, let time just do its thing because this takes quite a little bit of time but it probably won't be that bad. Right, I'm gonna end this video just admitting I had made a teensy tiny mistake. Uh, the orbit of 500,000 meters was wrong. This thing only has a range of 500,000. There was like a a little bit of an eccentricity in that orbit that brought it up to like 506,000 meters or whatever and it was basically not scanning the whole lower half of the MUN, but that has been corrected and it's in a four, I relaunched and put a, a different ISA satellite into a 400,000 uh, orbit here because the other one was just not going to scan half the moon, so it was pretty unacceptable, but all is good now, things should be working correctly, um, and I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm going to try to decide what I'm going to do for the next mission. I'm kind of thinking about launching a uh, Cathane satellite here along with a satellite, well both satellites, an ISA MAPSAT and uh, a Cathane satellite out to them to Minmus as well. Never launched anything to Minmus. I don't even remember if Minmus existed when I was playing this game before so that'll be interesting but uh, that'll be for next time so see you guys later.